Hello, everyone. I'm Scott Geitler, and this is... I am Mark Strickland. We're going to be talking today about one of the world's most exciting destinations and a bucket list for most divers and world travelers called the Galapagos. Uh, this is uh, this presentation from, from Blue Water. Um, just a quick intro to the uh, Blue Water family, Blue Water Blue Water Photo for all your underwater camera needs. Blue Water Travel is your first full-service dive travel company. And the Underwater Photography Guide, uh, the world's most comprehensive source for free underwater photography tutorials. But, uh, uh, today is going to be a very, very exciting talk about a place that hopefully everyone listening can get to at some point. Um, So I already gave the, uh, the intro to Blue Water, and as, as most of you probably know, uh, we do webinars every couple of weeks. We have a whole series of webinars you can find online on the Blue Water Dive Travel website on most major dive destinations around the world. You can learn when to go, what to see, who to dive with, and hopefully book through Blue Water Travel, but um, it's lots of great free information that we're, we're making available talked about the Blue Water family, so we will, uh, we, will, we will skip over that. So maybe just uh, quickly what we are going to cover today specifically, why go to the Galapagos? Yeah, why uh, go? Yeah, well, lots of great reasons we're going to get into here shortly, uh, including an overview of the island chain, what makes it special, what it's all about, when to go, uh, also some example photos. Uh, some of the highlights, some of the things that uh, you'll very likely see. Some creatures are almost guaranteed. Others, uh, maybe not quite so certain, but a high likelihood. It is nature, after all. But uh, every trip to the Galapagos is amazing. I think that's a very safe uh, blanket statement. Um, also, uh, in terms of where to stay, uh, there are both liveaboard and resort options there. Uh, in terms of diving, uh, we very much recommend the liveaboard approach, but it's also a great place. Break. Great place for uh, to add on some extra days for land excursions as well. Uh, also, uh, of course, things like in our photo expeditions, uh, there's going to be plenty of instruction available on uh, any of our photo workshops where one of our trained staff members accompanies the group and gives you all kinds of useful tips. Make sure you get the get best possible uh, photo and video results, including uh, possibly uh, either one of us. Um, and uh, we do have some great specials just to make it all the more enticing. We'll tell you about those here in just a few minutes. And of course, there's a chance for any uh, questions and answers at the end. Um, why visit the, the Galapagos Islands? They do they do have a few special things, right? Oh, absolutely. Okay. A lot of special things. It's, it's all about the special creatures. Um, I, I mean, really, nowhere else I can think of you can go where you're going to have so many wildlife encounters and not just regular wildlife but amazing wildlife above and and below water um but let's start with um let's start with underwater i mean the list is the list is endless i mean hammerheads galapagos sharks white tip sharks in huge numbers whale sharks what else would Man see mantas sea lions marine iguanas um even some macro creatures like uh, giant seahorses, but uh, I'd say by and large, it's more of a big animal destination than anything else, uh, so far as the underwater part goes. But as Scott says, not only the presence of big animals, but uh, in concentrations and numbers that you seldom see elsewhere, and really a unique combination of creatures that you don't see anywhere else. Where else can you be diving with penguins on the equator uh, or encounter yeah. marine iguanas underwater, in addition to uh, just in terms of sheer Abundance, uh, certainly one of the best places, if not the best place in the world, for schooling hammerhead sharks uh, and uh, many other big animals. Yeah, it's um, it's one of the only places for hammerheads, and and again, like Mark said, it is really the only place where you're going to be able to see things like iguanas and, and penguins underwater. And people have seen killer whales there. They've seen mola mola. Um, it's uh. It's one of those locations in the in the Eastern Pacific where you can really see almost any kind of uh, big animal, and usually every trip has some really special, unique sighting. Um, 
and on, on land, there's a, there's a whole host of, of amazing creatures uh, like frigate birds and uh, blue-footed boobies and the, the giant Galapagos tortoises, which is the iconic land animal of the, of the Galapagos, flightless cormorants, penguins. And uh, there's, there's there's a lot of islands in a lot of there's 18 different islands, a lot with their own microclimate um, above and below water, below water. A lot of them each have their own individual species that evolve. So, and also uh, not only in terms of the, the many unique creatures as Scott was saying, but uh, there's also a very different sort of uh, behavior towards humans than you see in most other places in the world because. In most cases, these animals have never been threatened. They, they don't regard humans as a threat. And, uh, and oftentimes, you can just get as close as you like uh, to viewing Antarctica. And, uh, and you'll see that we are, we're also um, offering quite a few of our own specialized 10-day liveaboard trips to the Galapagos next year and the year after, which we will we'll get into a little bit more detail later on, later on in the talk. Um, 